day. So today, we'll cover four videos of how UT test is done. UT is basically a ultrasonic test thing. Uh, it is a kind of NDT or non-destructive testing to inspect a uh, material. The material we're inspecting here will be needing some equipment. Uh, the equipment includes this one here. It's called Copland. The Copland is basically a liquid or a fluid that removes the barriers between the material we're inspecting and the probe which makes me come to my second point the probe the probe is basically the sensor for the UT flow detector here UT flow detector will use the probe to inspect what is happening inside this heavy material we cannot see the inside of it but we can detect any flow or discontinuity within it using the probe and the UT flow detector. Uh, and then we have got the UT flow detector here. Uh, basically, it is a electronic device. So you can see the specification here. We can we can change the options. We can we can see such numbers that's needed to inspect the material like the sound path, the depth, etc. And uh, the last equipment is it's the calibration block. Okay, now we'll begin to calibrate the normal probe. Uh, we've show you the angular probe and what we are using here is the normal probe so the step is we turn on the UT flow detector we pour on the copland on the material and see uh, as you can see we can see the change in the initial pose here okay if I make a contact between these two the changes which means we got the initial pulse down the line here we got that uh, the initial pulse is telling us that we are doing this correctly if there is no initial pulse we are doing this the wrong way okay after we put the probe uh, and we check the initial pulse uh, we will set the velocity to 5920 which is we have done before and range is basically the scaling of the pulse we are getting uh, as you can see we can look at the range here so if I change the range to say 100 the number will change the higher number will change what tells us is that we can see the reflection up to 100 millimeter. Okay. After we set the range to 100 millimeter, uh, we press the config button. And the thickness set to 25 millimeter and we set the dual to single which is already done so now we move the gate uh, the gate is the blue line here as we can see there's a blue line over there we set the gate to Set the gate to the first indication. As you can see, there's four wave here. Uh, 
what we've got here is that the thickness of the material we're inspecting is 25 millimeters, so we can set the range to 100 millimeters so that it can reflect up to four times. And we can check the reflection is whether it's correct or not. How to check the reflection is that we look at the these rows. There are three rows, and we are using two of them. Uh, this one, the uh, most of one is called the sun path, and the one pointing down, downward is the depth of the material, and the last one is the surface distance. Uh, see here. At the 25, we've got the sound path at exactly 25. Uh, if it's not at 25, we should change the zero. See, if we change the zero, we can manipulate the those numbers. Okay, and now we are going to check since it's already at 25. We are going to check whether uh, will it be the same for the next reflection. Uh, the gate here is checking the waves it's intercepting or the waves below it. So, as we can see, this gate is getting a sound path of 50.5, uh, pretty close to the first one. So we should check the next one, the third reflection. I'm getting a close number, 75.4, and we should check last one too. It's telling us it's got 100.3 millimeter, which means that this calibration is pretty much accurate with a little tiny bit of error. Thank you very much.